shadows, watching it all unfold. The flamingo speaks. It can speak here. It says, That's furious far more fun than television. It's snowing in here. Somehow I know this, just don't ask me how. There's a friend. Oh, you've spoken enough for me. Then. <sighs> ah, that's where the bomb went off. You can tell by the black smear. See anyone? Oh, they're up. So you look up. Must remember to look up. <laughs> Save me the trouble. Uh, Batman had a rest. Oh, you did it, Batman. That's good. Let's have a look. Get out the gun. This isn't a gun. Oh, I'll do all that again. Uh, if you draw a gun, pain, at least you have a gun. Toilet whisperer or whistler. Red, blue, or green? It's always red or blue in the movie. It's all green. I'm not the I did it. Hurry up, wall. Now you're waiting for the bat. I want to have a bat. Or do I have to just click the door? Yeah, that's it. Door clicking. It wasn't you, Bat. Sorry. I saw you. No, oh, that's the sky. I thought it was an enemy. Fat. 
Shout out. Young fat. What am I doing now? Oh, why does it put me in a mess? Eat the pills, stuff them down your throat while you're shooting things. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you're back here! Oh, that's fine, enough of this. Save. I didn't know that would happen. Come on, Whistler. You hit me. Red or blue? Ah, <clears throat> who cares? I thought that was just some grunt moaning. Didn't know it was a boss. Yeah, so, whatever. Skip. Can't skip. Skip this. Can't skip that. Dive for the door. Uh -oh. oh, dive. Where's Fat Boy or whoever? The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men. That business fast. Gagnini had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. Letter lay on Gagnini's desk. I know. We read it. Pump action. Am I supposed to hurry? Follow the blood. It's all locked. Oh, he came through this door here. So I follow him. Vinny got me, he was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Cagniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. Wings. Oh, it's that guy I put to bed. Oh, and the Flamingo Show. We could have listened to more Flamingos if I hadn't shot that. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be back. No, mouths, mouths on. I gotta do that. Hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Alright, we're ready. Come on, train. Hoo ah! This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. Somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. Yes, ice. New York sped by and fast forward. <laughs> Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Cagnetti made his move. Yeah, I doubt that. 
It wouldn't land on its feet. <laughs> Let's watch Pain do it. Way. Let's watch E. Nah, you're not gonna land like that. <laughs> Especially ice. Most likely you'll trip and fall and land face first on the floor below you. This is the bullet wound. Able to jump great heights. Yeah, you probably get caught on the barbed wire fence. Oh, I was gonna say, if the thing is icy, you'd probably just slip right off it as soon as you jumped onto it. So you wouldn't have to bother following suit, he'd just be on the floor below, you could take the stairs, scrape him up. Oh yeah, let's save it so we don't have to watch any cutscenes again. I don't think they're skippable. How do these assholes get on the roof? Aren't we far away from where we just were? Well, these ones just hang out everywhere. you say? Lie down? I refuse. Fire. Problem. He's coming down the stairs. Let's go up the stairs. That's a plan for you. He's coming down the stairs. Let's meet him halfway. No point guarding the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> See? Note if there's someone at the top of the stairs with a gun, they have the high ground. If you listen to Obi-Wan Kenobi, or what's in there, Ewan the McGregor, you would know not to go up the stairs. Because he has the high ground. Valkyr Waka. Valka. Which door was it? Not that one. How oh, should you go upstairs? I saw a video once. If there's an intruder in your home, check the stairs. I can't remember. Uh, let's see. Well, I don't own a gun, so I wouldn't really. It's just for the Americans. Check the corners or some bollocks. Let's see. So pretend that the gunman's there. The only bit of advice is don't go up the stairs if you can avoid it. You probably check the corners. But don't go up the stairs, in other words. <laughs> Not like these assholes. Uh, let's see what these assholes could do. So, someone says, he's coming down the stairs with a gun or whatever. We'll stick one of them here. There we go. One there. We'll put one here as well. Pointing there with his shotgun. Shoot through that little gap. But you can stick one here. Stick one here to guard him. When he comes down here, shoot him there. So these three of them, put one here. You don't have a shot here, but you've got him in case that one fails. Shoot him there. This one, he's in his range of fire. You don't really want him here. Too far away if he's using a shotgun. But if you got a pistol, you can catch him when he's coming down that part. Or an Uzi, just unload. So there, one here. 
Mm, maybe not one there. Or maybe one there. Yeah, one, one there. First shot. Second shot. 